I, I am currently on my way back, or not back, but going to work for a meeting. But I really wanted to do a quick video talking to you guys about my spiritual attunement that I had done um, for Reiki. So I got my certificate in Reiki. I am super happy and excited about it. It was such a good experience. Um, I plan on learning some more about it and looking up some books to study it more. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably do some more book reviews soon. But, so about my experience with it. It was amazing, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, I was actually able to meet more of my own spirit guides and a few of my own ancestors when I was having it. It lasted roughly for about 30 minutes. Um, throughout the whole time, I'm getting uh, my breath. Um, but it lasted for roughly 30 minutes. It was really nice. Um, and throughout the whole time, I ended up meditating, <laughs> trying to do the light. But yeah, I ended up doing meditating um, throughout the whole experience. I met with my higher self and we exchanged some pretty nice words. She was super happy and proud of me. So it was my ancestor and the ancestor that I met, I asked him for his name because I met him also through Akashic Records. And you know, he told me his name was Black Hawk. And I was like, what? And I say what because at first I didn't know what the heck. You know, I was like, oh, okay. So it's a Native American name. But when I actually looked up his name, I saw the picture of him. I was like, what? Oh my God. Okay, I am really getting out of breath. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was really amazing. And it's funny because that picture that you see of the Chief Black Hawk, I didn't dawn on me until like, when I looked at the picture, that's also who my grandmother has in her house. And I was like, oh my God, how crazy is that? <laughs> I'd like to also mention that, hold on. Um, that when you get your spiritual attunement, it does heighten your senses in a sense, like your spiritual awareness. And I mean, it was um, noted that that does happen, but all these cars coming. Oh, I'm almost up to my bus stop too. But yeah, it is noted that it does help with your spiritual awareness. Um, you do have to go through a diet and it's a 21 day cleanse. So that cleanse helps you to, you know, um, to let that energy, the Reiki energy flow through you a little bit easier and better. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it, your, the diet, you were basically um, trying to eat better, trying to make better decisions for your health. Um, you also have to do daily meditation to help with it as well. But overall, there's so many cars, oh my god. Um, but overall, it was a really good experience. I absolutely loved it. Um, I've already done two distant healings. I have yet to do a physical one, um, but I do plan on doing a whole physical one on my fiance when he comes out here. <laughs> so stay tuned for that, I might video it. Um, but yeah, I thought to do a quick little video, uh, tell you guys how it was, and yeah, I will see y'all later, <laughs> bye! Okay, real quick, so I forgot to mention also that um, my higher self showed me how my soul looks and by that I mean that you know she just showed me how much like how much I, I am in a sense I don't know <laughs> but you know we, we first appeared in the forest and this forest was so lush and green kind of like hold on 
Like, I don't know how you guys can see that. But, it's very beautiful. Very lush. Very big and wide. Um, there's a lot of waterfalls and just, it was beautiful. And it kind of gave me an idea in the sense that that's how deep my soul is, <laughs> in a sense. And it's just so beautiful. I was like, that's me? I, um, it was really beautiful. But yeah, that's all I had to add it. Also, a quick view of our beautiful little mountain today. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. And Grandmother Mountain looks amazing. <laughs>